All right, imagine owning 534 acres for 40,000 bucks. This is my first subdivision, mile back that way. We're out here in Hudspeth County. <coughs> and we're in Hudspeth County. And this was, this was my first subdivide. It would have been in 2017. It was 534 acres that we bought for 40,000. The dude was coming out of bankruptcy and I got lucky. Let's go check it out. got about two miles to get back to this and I bought it for less than $75 per acre and so people always ask can you still get land that cheap today and yeah you can I would say this was very lucky because the guy I bought it from was coming out of bankruptcy and so he really needed the money and it was just a really unique offer but we did look one at one up in Dell City a few weeks ago it was 694 acres and they wanted 200 grand so that's what that's like 300 per acre plus if you lowball them you probably get it you can still get land in this size today for 200 per acre if you're lucky out here and then of course when you subdivide it into 10 and 20 acre lots it's worth five six eight hundred per acre and this one this one i think i eight or ten x my money we'll talk about the numbers here but it was a good deal that is for sure that was what took my company to the next level We just got to the southeast corner of my whole subdivision. I brought the plat for us. We are right here and there was 53, wait, one, two, three, four, five rows of 10. So there was 50 lots right here. I sold all these lots in late 2017, early 2018. I immediately bought it for $75 per acre or so, 40,000 for 534 acres and then sold it pretty much immediately for, it's like 500-ish per acre, 600 in some cases. Like, let's look at it. There's no one out here and nothing out here. I always find it crazy because I've come back here from time to time and I sold all this land and not one person is using it. Now, one guy did buy 450 acres out of this entire piece. And that's what really set my business to the next level because he paid me 3,000 down and 4,500 a month for 60 months. Now imagine I bought the whole thing for $40,000. I got 3,000 back immediately. And then he paid me 4,500 per month for 60 months. That's 270,000. But then I sold that note and cashed out for like 140, 150,000. So just on his one piece, which was most of the land, but I made like 150,000, 100,000. Crazy. What's the saying? Cameraman never dies? Yeah, it's always funny that they come to us. This is my 20 acres that I kept for myself. And the reason why I kept it is because it's got all the vegetation and it's like a low point. And I always got cows on my 20 acres. Every time we come out, they're right here. And that's because there's water. Another thing I really love about this property is just the mountain views back here. Pretty cool. It's amazing to think that Texas has mountains like this when it's just flat desert landscape. I don't even know how those cows survive out here either. There's no grass. It's just this brush so they have an interesting interesting life but we are only about two miles northeast of Cornutus right here so pretty close to my town I just bought and looking back here you can see that draw at a low point it's like the land goes down to a slope that's why I kept that 20 acres over there but it's really close to Cornutus so if I could ever need to come up here for whatever reason short little five minute drive away it's very secluded back here. You could do some interesting things. We're in like a, a low point and we are basically like right there on the plat map, right in the south central part. This road comes up, it's the road we're on. This subdivision really 
revolutionized my business. I wanna talk about that for a second. 2017 was when I got started. This was my first big deal. And I was nervous as hell because like, look at this land, literally desert. It was $40,000. I actually didn't have all that money at the time. I borrowed, uh, I think it was 35,000 from my dad. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm borrowing money from my family. Here we go. And it ended up changing my life, accelerating my business dramatically, just this one little plat map. And believe it or not, this is literally all I did with this land. You come out here, you will not see any survey stakes. You will not see any roads built, any improvements, nothing. Literally 10 acre lots created on paper that Jazzland sold to the customers for five or $600 per acre. And all said and done on this deal, I don't know the exact numbers off my head. I think I netted probably 150,000 at least. So the 40,000 into probably about 200,000. And that helped me scale my business dramatically. And believe it or not, in some states, you can still do stuff like this. In Texas, Tennessee, I think maybe the Carolinas, Virginia, some states really allow great loopholes where you can do what's called a minor subdivision. In a lot of cases, you will need to get it surveyed. But in a case like this land, in special cases, you can actually pretty much describe it on paper and sell it off as of 2023 and the thing with subdivisions is rules are always changing counties are always changing so it's very important to know exactly what you can and can't do uh, to make a piece of land smaller and then sell off the individual lots so this one was game changing for me and so that's kind of why i still hold 20 acres out here too it's just a little special place in my heart and if i ever want to come build an underground bunker or store some stuff or do whatever bug out this is one of my spots well, maybe we if we don't make this video, we just delete it, keep it secret. <laughs> this guy isn't afraid. Look at, oh, I ain't gonna mess with him. <laughs> He's got horns too. Keep, keep up his roads back there with that road grader. Nice little mobile home. Shipping tire, tire about the tires are coming up. I don't remember these tires being here, but I'm not even sure this is legal to just dump tires like this. It's a lot of tires though. I don't know where he or she is getting them. The tire king. It's a lot of tires. That's a mud grapple. I guess it's just, yeah, don't got much tread left. Oh boy, put the work. 